What is going on YouTube? It is your guy Consumer Reviews and DIYs. We're back in the building with another video and today we have the Nike Overbreak in the 11 and a half retail price of $140. You guys see the size tag right there. So let's go into the shoe. So what are you thinking YouTube? Is this an easy pass or is this one that you think is good for picking up? Personally, I think it's really clean and the colorway uh, works well together. Now, in terms of StockX, you know how we like to do our comparisons to see what type of resale. As you can see, this ha literally has no resale. So if you're getting it to try to resale, you might as well skip it. For personal, then you'll be spot on. Now, as we look at the shoe though, and we look at that royal blue around that collar, man, she's popping especially on the back with that Nike. It's subtle, but it's super clean. These guys are really chunky, so at the highest point, I measured about two and a half inches. So if guys, if you're looking to add a couple of inches to your height, this is gonna be solid for you. Let's take a moment to have a really serious conversation. That conversation is gonna involve these shoes becoming filthy in a very short amount of time. As you can see, guys, I haven't worn these before, but just in coming outside to do the on feet, this is the direct result on the bottom right hand shoe. Doesn't take long at all for these guys to get dirty. So if you do plan on getting a pair of shoes with a white sole that's this thick, have you a solid strategy for keeping these guys clean. As we view the side of the Nike Overbreak, you can see how the foam is really thick at the back and how it narrows out as it moves to the front of the shoe. Also protruding from the foam are little designs, I have, which really provide some personality uh, to this shoe. You can also see the contrast in the sail color between the front of the shoe and that side panel of that shoe beside the metallic check. When it comes to sizing, I am going to recommend that we stick true to size with this shoe. I would not order a half a size up or go down a half a size. I am a true to size 11 and a half and these fit with very minimal room uh, in them. So what's the conclusion, YouTube family? Is this a solid pickup by your guy or should your guy have hit these with a hard pass? I appreciate everybody who stopped through on the channel to support the content. If I can answer any questions about the shoe, you guys know what to do. Shoot your guy a comment in the comment section. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe to the videos for additional content. And I will catch you guys on the next one.